I finally figured it out, my friend. I got the answer for you, right? I finally figured it out. See, I knew my life has transformed in an amazing way. I knew I'm feeling such amazement. I know I'm connected on another energetic vibration. I know my paradigm has shifted, but I couldn't understand why it all happened. I knew the, my thoughts, words, thoughts, and actions was aligned with my truth. I knew all that. I did all the work. But to actually go through it is amazing. But I finally figured it out. Here's the thing, my friend. The biggest thing is several things, but the biggest thing, I stopped wasting energy, my friend. So what I mean by that, I stopped giving energy or power to any situation or anybody that wasn't going to benefit me. I stopped giving energy out that wasn't coming back to my life with a return interest, my friend. So rather than giving energy to a situation and emotion to a situation, trying to blame other people for something they did to me, I stopped doing all that. Because what if they don't accept it? What if they don't agree? Then I got to force more energy out to blame them, to force them to accept them. What if they never do? All that's wasted time and energy, my friend, that you don't get back. So rather than forcing that out and never letting it come back, I changed the game. I learned how to be a better steward over my energy. I learned how to be a better observer. I learned how to respect and love my energy a lot better. And let me tell you the results. Let me tell you the results. So no longer am I forcing energy out, forcing people to accept things that don't fit. I just take what it comes to me and I make the best decision to build myself up, my friend. And you gotta do this too. So here's the thing, my friend. Here's the thing. I stopped using my energy to blame other people, but instead I use my energy to look in the mirror and check myself. So let me explain, right? See, in this life, I don't care what happens to you. I don't care who did it. There's no one to blame. There's nobody to blame, my friend. There's nobody to blame. See, here's the thing. See, I get it. Project projecting the blame onto other people, I know. It makes us all feel better because it cushions the blow. It's almost like it gives us an excuse for making a bad decision, right? So projecting the blame onto other people when things go wrong in your life, it makes us all feel good, but it will never, never, ever make the situation better. So it'll make you feel better, but the situation is still gaining momentum. It's still gaining power because you failed to resolve it. There's a problem that still needs to be solved. And yet your ego wants to hear an apology or wants to hear something from somebody else to cushion the blow for something you did or something you allowed to happen. It's the hard truth, but that's what grows us. That's what you gotta accept, my friend. So here's the thing, here's the thing. See, it feels real good chasing somebody down. Oh, where you at? You avoid my calls? You gonna get all this smoke? Then you finally get them. Why did you do that to me, this, this, this? What if the person don't agree? What if the person don't accept it? You stuck with trying to force a circle into a square, right? So here's the thing. So rather than blaming somebody else for something they may not accept, which is easy to do, how about look in the mirror and say, how could you have allowed this to happen? How about check yourself, my friend, right? Accountability, how about check yourself? See, here's three reasons why you gotta own your life, entire life, and the results of it, my friend. That is your responsibility, your ultimate responsibility in this life, right? Number one. See, blaming other people for the results of your life, it actually robs you of the power you need to create the life you want. So by you letting out that power, that emotion, that, that, that energy, why did you do this to me? You chose to take the easy way out. You chose to, to follow your ego and let that power out to blame somebody else and they not accepting it. 
So you follow ego and you wasted power, the same power you needed to correct the situation. So had you followed humility and swallowed your pride and said, karma will get them. They're going to get theirs for what they did to me. But let me handle this business. You would have had the power you needed to fix the situation, my friend. Don't do that again, my friend. Your life and your family's lives depend on it, right? Then number two, see, blaming other people, that's a weak trait. Strong people don't blame other people. No. Strong people want people to be accountable, but they understand how to trust the process. They understand the, how to control the controllables. See, they don't try to control things that they can't control because they understand that that's wasted time and wasted energy and you don't get that back. Not the time, right? So that's why you don't want to be there. See, see, blaming other people is a weak trait. Only weak people do that. But see, accountability, that's the opposite of blaming other people. That's when you take the humility side. You don't follow that ego and make impulsive decisions. You, 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 you follow humility. You trust God from the inside out, right? See, that takes boldness and that takes strength. Not what you're talking about, what you're demonstrating, my friend. So nobody out there talking about they bold, they tough, they strong, and they still blaming people, making excuses and running around forcing situations. No, that's not for the strong. That's for the weak, my friend. And number three, see, you got to develop a greatness mindset, a mind bold enough to believe, right? That being personally accountable for your entire life and the results of it puts your life and your family's life in the very best position for success, my friend. So at those weak times where you feel like taking the easy way out and following that ego, think about your family if you can't do it for yourself, right? Think about your future. Think about what's at stake, my friend. You didn't come this far to just come this far, my friend. And you got to remember that under the most extreme circumstances. See, true character isn't displayed when everything going good. It's easy to say, oh, yeah, I'm on top. I'm disciplined when everything is going good. See, what's your character like when you plan from behind, my friend? What's your character like when you feel like you're getting blown out in life? What's your character like when everything around you in the natural, in the physical, Look like you're going to lose, but something deep down in here is telling you the race not over until you win. The game's not over until you win. The race not given to the swift or to the strong, but to he who endures until the end, that little thing. And then you follow that little thing and then you get to that place and then you win, my friend. Don't stop until you win, my friend. You were born to win, my friend. That fingerprint, that individualized, nobody else can match. That means you're a winner, my friend. The game is not over until you win, my friend. Nobody else to blame, my friend. Stop wasting that energy. Be personally accountable for your entire life. And never forget, I don't care who's saying it, I don't care who, who doing it, I don't care what's that. Never forget, on your life and the results of it, my friend, and you were born to be great.